So now let's go to the next one on series versus parallel connection. So to put it into simple words, a series connection of cells or modules is some kind of a continuous daisy chain whereby you connect all the cells or the modules head to toe. It is one long string of cells of modules. So this is a series connection, an electrical series connection. The, the opposite is a parallel connection whereby you connect everything side by side. They are working together as a group. They are connected together, but more side by side. So that's more of a, a verbal explanation of uh, the difference between series and parallel. Let's go to the whiteboard. I want to show you uh, what can happen if you choose to go for either series or parallel, or if you combine a, the wiring, a series and parallel wiring into your solar array. So we start out with the same module that we just built. So it is a 60 cell photovoltaic module. It's a theoretical a photovoltaic module that has an open circuit voltage of 36 volt and just for the sake of this exercise we take a, a rated power output of 250 watt under standard test conditions so we have one of these panels and we want to connect an additional five panels together with this first panel we want to make one group of six panels all wired together now if we want to wire it together in series we start with a positive lead from the first panel that goes into the panel and then the panel has a negative lead output and you connect the negative output from the first panel with the positive output of the second panel. And you connect the negative output of the second panel to the positive input of the third panel. You continue like this. So you can always connect the negative to the positive. Now if you connect these six panels together in one loop in one string in one series connection then that one module that has 60 cells 36 volts and 250 watt will produce an open circuit voltage a theoretical open circuit voltage of six times 36 equals 216 volts so the combined electrical pressure of these six panels combined in series is six times 36 is 216 volts the combined power output of the six, uh, six modules is 6 times 250 is 1500 watts. That makes sense, right? Six panels produce as much power as one panel. No. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. Now in this example, we're going to make it a little bit more complicated because we are going to duplicate what we have just done. We're going to duplicate taking these six identical photovoltaic modules and connect another six modules also all in series. So we take this very same module and connect six of these modules in series. So now we have two groups of photovoltaic modules, two groups of six modules each. And now we're going to connect these two groups in parallel right so all the the six modules individually they're connected in a series the other six are also in series and the two groups we're combining them in parallel and as you can see i've slightly aggravated the uh, <laughs> the drawing a little bit but you can see that now the the main feeder wire uh, the positive and the negative of this complete array so the array are all the modules wired together uh, they are substantially larger than that of the interconnecting wires, right? So keep this in mind as you're designing your system. Now the question is, what is the open circuit voltage, the electrical pressure of these 12 panels combined into one array? Now the open circuit voltage is still the same as if it were only six panels. In theory, it should be six times 36 volts equals 216 volts open circuit voltage for all of these 12 panels combined uh, together in one array because you are not increasing the voltage if you're adding panels in parallel right so the open circuit voltage of these six of oh, sorry of the 12 panels is the same as that of these six panels the total power output of the 12 panels does increase it's twice as high as the combined power output of the six panels so the combined power output of the 12 panels is 12 times 250 watt equals 3000 watts of theoretical power output under standard test conditions for the complete array. 
Now that was just a quick run through of a typical system that includes both series and parallel wiring configuration. Now, if you feel lazy and you don't want to grab your calculator and you want to go online and use an existing calculator, there's plenty of options available online. Um, I'll just show you one of them. I am not affiliated with this website in any way, uh, but I'm going to ncalculators.com. There's plenty of calculators on this website. I find it quite useful, this website. And let's search for solar panels. Okay, and then we select solar panel power calculator. That sounds good. So here we are. It's a very simple calculator, but very effective. So we select series connection. We select six panels. Each panel is 250 watts, we assume. Panel voltage, and that refers to the open circuit voltage is 36 volts. The height and the width, I don't really care for this exercise. And then we press calculate. And there you go. So six of these panels wired in series produce a total power output of 1,500 uh, watts and a total theoretical open circuit voltage of 216 volts. So there you go. That's just an example of one of the calculators that you can find online. Again, it's just if you feel lazy, of course, you can also use, use a, a regular calculator. So this concludes the subchapter on the series. Thank you.